Okay, there we go. That was weird as hell. I don't know why I had to restart OBS because it was like, oh, can't show chat window. <laughs> so, is what it is. Anyways, hey there, Blue. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to be playing some Pokemon tonight. Yay. So, just going to be kind of a chill night because I've had a really drained day uh, with everything. So... We're just gonna focus on playing some nice Pokemon. Thank you, appreciate that. Gotta have my gamer subs girls rep like always. Make sure you use code Chisses for all your gamer subs uh, needs. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be playing some chill Pokemon tonight. Um, and yeah, turned in my two weeks. Nice. So at least you got that set up. So that's all good. So. Let's go ahead and get some uh, Pokemon going. So, yay. I made sure that I could hear, so I don't have to worry about that too much. That needs to not be on. across this hellscape, which I don't know how you're supposed to explore these mountain ranges. Hey, doing all right. Very tiring day, so we're probably only going to stream like the hour and a half, two hours, because I do have to work tomorrow and I've been just so tired today. But we're right here, so we're going to go after our ghost trainer. Explore this town. Came up from here. Yeah. It's time for the last time yeah. lost souls, but lately the concerts are a real draw. Oh, we're good here. Sushi High Roller. I'll fix this again. I still need to figure out what the foods I'll do because I haven't figured out the foods. I can put my Pokemon as well with your higher to hyper training if you'd like. No. That's interesting. Okay, so. center of my little camera because I realize like I'm all center which is fine. Here, I need to be sharing over here and then go like this way. There we go. It's like how do I sit right now? I definitely look very tired. I know I'm probably gonna be very tired tonight. It's just gonna be one of them days. All the kids are doing it. A snow slope run is popular these days. You can try it out. life. Awesome. Okay. Snow Rat. Isn't Snow Rat who only the females have a chance of evolving in the cross lake? Yep. I just went that way. That's a river. the actual way into the mountain area. I just kind of like steamrolled my way in. 
sit wherever and make the camera move. I was adjusting that earlier and it wasn't doing it too hot. So you know about the ultimate class of sandwiches? They're called master sandwiches, and no one seems to know the recipe for them. Everyone tastes better when you eat outside. I don't think so, but all right. Gym leader is here. It used to be time, but she retired a year and a half ago. Her sister Rhyme is the gym leader now. Hey, off brand. Hey, nerdy Belle. Hope you guys are having a good time. It is Tuesday, so we're almost halfway through the week. seen one of Rhyme's concerts, her music shakes you right down to your soul. Those purple lights. The stage lights up purple for the gym test. It's so pretty. Okay, well, let's go on through. Hello, hello, Mel. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? I have no idea. Uh, I get it. Director Cavell doesn't like questions with easy answers, does he? Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here to make sure you know your homeroom teacher got your back. A lucky egg. Oh, nice. Happiness that earns the holder extra EXP points. Nice. This should be handy for your treasure hunt. Hope you're keeping work. Hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours since I did make the app and all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger. Nervelle's coming off surgery for doing better. Yeah, she just had her gallbladder taken out, I think, right? I remember reading the cert that she was having surgery on Twitter, so I hope she's recovering well. Ryan specializes in ghost type Pokemon. You won't get anywhere if you try to take her on with normal or fighting. All right. Gardevoir, you're up. Welcome to the Montevea Gym. Let me register as a challenger. Your name is Mel, yes? Great, now in order to face gym leader Rhyme, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Oh, lovely, I'm an opener. Your job is to get up on a stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get this crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out of here and have fun. Sledge. Hey, you opening act. 
Yo trainer, you're the one performing the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. I'll let, that'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot it'll melt the snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leaders to take the stage. That's how you'll pass our gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on the stage. There's no backing down until you win three times in a row to make sure you're ready. You're good on the deets for the opening act on our gym test. Ready to sledge them up? I am ready. Sweet, just play it by area. It's been great. Head up onto the stage. Hey, welcome, welcome. It's been a Tuesday. I'm tired. Um, so just playing some Pokemon, having a nice chill night. Oh shit, we got a raid this early? Hey there, Foxinus Pro! You are awesome! Thank you for bringing your community to me right as we started the gym challenge for Miss Rhyme, our ghost trainer in uh, Pokemon Scarlet. So hi everybody, welcome! Welcome to the channel! I'm kind of like low-key energy today, so trying to do chill. So, do enjoy the chill stream tonight. But welcome, Raiders. How was your stream? Were you doing good? What were you playing? Give a shout out here. Chill, she says, as she's hyping the crowds in the game. Right? Yeah, it's like, this, this is like not what I need to do right now, but that's okay. Brother, I pushed my hair to the wrong side. I'm like, why mirrors? Why? What's up, Monteveria? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back battles by our challenger here, Mel. And the first of the three openers will be a young girl who makes it look like it's a breeze. Get that hype chain going. One, the only task. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? You can do that math. Great, but yes, please get ready for bed. Do enjoy your evening. Thank you for bringing your community to me. You are always awesome. And I can't wait to see you here soon for uh, RTX, so. God damn it, if I would have known, I would change that Gyarados, but at least Gyarados has a dark move for all of these ghost Pokemon, so this is fine. Psychic. Guess have a good night. Thank you for joining for the raid at least. one is two, right? Right? No, kid. You just got demolished. I was just watching YouTube channels earlier. Okay, how did I miss that? That's definitely the definition of chill. That's for sure. Exactly. No Nuzlocke, no, like, hard mode settings. We're just playing this chill stuff. Granted, some people like stress-induced games because then it does help them relax to get the stress out. Can't do that. I, I will break my controller. The stage is all the latest tech and the more excited audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. Yay, he healed me. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lottie. Are you the one who's giving me CDs? Strong compliments, weak. Strong compliments, weak. The harmony of two Pokemon battles in unison. Yeah. 
facing did those in Tears of the Kingdom early. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. Perfect thing about it, I just haven't played like any Zelda games, so it's like not on my radar right now. Which is a shame, but. glitching through her face and I can't not see it. Hey, thank you for following on your own Twitch account there, Dirty Bell. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That wasn't harmony, it was catastrophe. glitches and a lot of lag glitches and me drawing my pokeball off the ledge glitches those kind of things the audience is really getting excited your opening act turned the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11 hey thank you for healing me what a surprise for a new challenger who'd have thought they'd sledge it up this much i thought you had too but honestly i totally get that like i'm terrible at keeping up with like multiple platforms with people so it's like, oh crap, I'm not following on this one out of like the 10. So it's like, no worries, I totally get it. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for raising that follower count up. I do appreciate it. Next is your last opponent and it's none other than, it's you, isn't it? Yes, it is me, Mick Sledge. Also, what the fuck with your face, dude? <laughs> You have me on the TV? Oh, I'm a celebrity, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I also battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in a double battle. Go challenge by gym trainer MC Sledge. I am easy to get over leveled in this game like i'm even following the actual like level chart and because i've explored so much like not like out of the levels that i'm in it's just you know i actually explore each of these areas as i go through it because i want to collect all the shit it's like oh well then well you're overpowered for this boss and i'm like i'm sorry how it was you who sledged me up Audience excitement has reached a new fever pitch. Whoa, awesome, that was a great battle. Yeah, I just respawn, uh, but I do like, you know, finding all the gold shiny ones that are like the TMs and those kind of things that are one time. How lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Mel. And also all the Pokemon, obviously, so. Makes it a lot more, it really does, where it's not a struggle bus. 
Oh my god, she passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. This was the easiest gym test ever. It's just battles. Like, this was actually, like, close to a normal gym test. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto, we're ready to go on with the main event. Come on, everyone, say it with me. This is what you all been waiting for. Give it up for MC of Rip Rhyme! Drawing out Pokemon making and go make them extinct and <laughs> sitting with the washing. Yeah, yeah. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. Woo. Thanks for the killer opening, babe. Now I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for some rhyme time. You feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby or staff you passed. All right, she's going to do her own concert. And then I guess I'll go back. Give us a minute for rhyme time, okay? Let's go back to the staff. Say, beat all of her people. And we'll come back. Amazing job, Mel. You are a fantastic opening act. That's the gym test cleared, then well done. You now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader? Yes. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Too. I think it might be like a ghost symbol thing, is the idea. Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. This is my time, this is my day, you're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme. Your, ra your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Give you some praise, dude. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you can step up to my game? Well, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector. Victory onto me, you will be you will render when the crowd sees you a mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. <laughs> this is hard to make sure I actually read it properly. <laughs> Meet the fourth gym in Sora earlier. The game feels weird, but I guess it's... Yeah, that would definitely do it if you jumped around between generations. I'm done. You won. My rhymes totally whiffed it. I'll be back maybe next after my next shift. He broke his rhyme. Where you going? That's all you got. After my next shift, seriously, barns over jokes. Come on. She had like no pupils in her eyes. I don't know if that was intentional. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? <laughs> Okay, let's do a rap battle. <laughs> you got jokes, so we both know why you're really here. Oh, but they won't even let me try. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. And weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean look will lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Yes. Huh, well... Let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all the top charts. My skills with ghost types are all the best around. I still have Gardevoir in the front. At least you forget the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of Rip. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. Gym leader Rhyme. Oh, it's a double battle anyway. Okay, cool. 
We don't mess around in Montevea. One of my stage, double bad. We don't let it scare you. Show us an awesome battle rhyme, you two skin pit. the most yeah oh she got the big popper nailed that pokemon weakness without battling an eye then let me change out my pokemon how rude Ghost type? What are you doing? You're a generator of ghost types! He's poison electric! Kick back, relax, enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattle in good time. the mic even the dead rides up dj g rave over there sure feeling it oh we're gonna terraform oh is he a ghost terraform is that how this works yes he's a ghost terraform you played me you sly sly lady give you props for that still dead We need to get Baby in this game, and I know he's in the game! Bye, Gardevoir! A super effective move. That's so tight. Right. not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. <laughs> Great battling, chilling, and thrilling. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right? And how about VIP pass for my next show, too? I like this lady. I like her a lot. I'm a Flarry fan favorite, but not her. Like, that was, like, really cool. I like that. She wasn't creepy. She was full of energy and positivity. 
At six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon at the level 50, and they'll listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna let you have this. Shut a ball. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering you on later. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Whoops. Don't spoil me! Greetings once again, Mel. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. I hardly ever had sent out Gardevoir before you launched them to your strategy. That unleashing offense, the fury of attacks, an efficient way to cover, corner the opponent, and what artfully trained Pokemon sheds your vibe of power of moves. Oh, I do beg your pardon, I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. <laughs> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit that I'm eager for you to gather all of the gym badges. As a member of Elite Four, I wake the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, but one last thing. Don't let your studies fall behind. Be sure to come to the academy now and then. Whoops. I totally have not been doing that. I'm gonna get bullied by Nomura, aren't I? No Nomura? Wow, okay. Alright, where do we go next? 13. Oh, we gotta go back to... Alright. So, we're down here. Our next one... Is we actually go back to the desert. We get to go explore the desert again. So... And then after that... It's 14, I understand that. Oh my god, 14's all the way down here. Then this is 14. Which, I know we did all this part. I think I have to explore... All the craziness that's like over here is locked away. Fuck. Okay. I don't need to do the desert. And we crossed over to here. We're gonna fly to here. Because we'll explore the mountain later since that is 15 and 16. Which are the two other gym leaders. So. Oh, sorry. Last gym leader and a team star base. Oh, did I battle enough people to make you give me stuff? I'll say this game a little weird with the circles you get. Yeah, it's really weird! Need one trainer. Need to defeat five. Okay, cool. Porto Mandaria is across this desert. Make sure you prepare for the trip. Right, so I remember I just stayed along the wall when I did the trip earlier, but I never actually, like, explored. This is a huge map. We're just basically going to be doing up and down for a little bit. I like getting all of these little sand things. Right. Made it up to here.
I need you. Granted, a lot of my stuff is way too high level to catch any of these things. So we might just have to be drawing balls at it for a little bit. I have one. You bitch! Nia and Pac. Okay, I was calling it the wrong one. Full of sand. I hate sand. It's dry, rough, like it's everywhere. Yes, I get that reference. I have not read any of those. I do not read books. The only books I've actually read were either College Work or The Magician Shaka by Raymond E. Weiss. And I only read the first one. I didn't even really read the first three. I had someone read them to me. I knew audio books. So like I've listened to the Witcher books. I'm not a huge reader. Like at all. I don't like Game of Thrones, so no. 
I'd watch the show and I don't care read the books. Sorry. I was like, audiobooks are the only way, like, I have dyslexia. I will reread the same sentence, like, probably six times because my eyes will jump way too much to keep up with what line I am on the paragraph. So it is super, super annoying to actually read, in my opinion. Audiobooks, plus, I'm a programmer, so I, I'm able to listen to things while I work, so I have listened to quite a bit of audiobooks, but more of, I'll listen to, like, I don't know, self-help books, things that I can actually, like, take in without, like, I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't read fiction, is the best way to put it, unless it's fan fiction and I'm 12. <laughs> I used to read a shit ton back in the day. But it was mostly fan fiction back then. I don't know, I read if you count Reddit. Like, I read Reddit books way too much. <laughs> don't read my fan fiction, oh my god. I don't know what Glass Castle is. Can you please stop assuming I know every title you're telling me? Because I do not know all of these titles you are telling me, dude. I do not use any of the dyslexic ones. I think they are absolutely amazing. Um, and I think they're very interesting, but I haven't actually sat down and used them. I think it's because there's enough white space in my programming that I don't get the letters mixed up because it's not super consolidated. I know when it's like a huge paragraph, I have a struggle, but when there's lots of white space, it's easier for me to see the letters properly, so. Uh, I have not read Dress Up Darling. I'm also not a huge mother either. Shame on me, I know. Hey, someone that understands! <laughs> Like, I should try out the dyslexic fonts, because, like, when I do get, like, reports and things that are lots of paragraphy stuff, it's like, oh, this is terrible for me to read. Alright, we've got Stantler. Sent to the boxes. Yes, um, Amelie is great, quite frankly. Like, she is super funny. I think I have, like, a couple of her, like, TikToks from her, um, YouTuber account. So, like, she's, she's pretty cool. I'm not sure we're reading on streams. That's totally valid. I definitely understand that. Oh, yeah, her covers are great. Like, that's how I know her is more of all of the covers. That she's done, honestly. Really? The Pokemon disappeared. Weird. Okay. Tried to go to class time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Coding is definitely uh, something that, in my opinion, you have to think that certain way. Because otherwise you, you'll have a hard time comprehending how to write it otherwise. Um, so like, I can never teach someone how to read logically, if that made any sense. It's just how I naturally think is why I think I'm so good at it. Texas speaks and asks if she has certain opening and she was going, Aw. Nothing over here. We're over here now. Because I need to, like, do zigzags this way. I, too, had a coding class. She was not freaking she expected us to understand what it was she was teaching. Yeah, no, I totally get all that. That's why I, I try to, like, reinforce coding is not for everybody. And there's no 
shame in that. It's like, um, you can judge a fish by its ability to fly. That's completely wrong, you know what I mean? Since everything's on YouTube, basically, yeah, I can agree with that. I did it because that was what was expected of me, and I needed the paper. That's literally it, so. There's certain things that will need the schooling, like obviously being a doctor, but anything that's like media and arts, in my opinion, I teach all that shit on YouTube. Or it's all self-practice portfolio anyway. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day, like, I had Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, I had a Harpy Lady deck, it was all cool. Like, I think I played it, like, when the first few, uh, sets dropped, so. I've got 20 years of studies at the Academy under my belt. And you're out here in the desert, my dude. Louis the student. Sure, it's gotten completely different. Like, I tried looking at how to play the new Pokemon compared to back in the day. Nah. Not even gonna try. for this. Yeah, I think you need to go pick a different thing to study, my dude. I was so short and impressed I had to take a 20th year. Damn. Oh, what did I run into? Oh, it's another one of these fluffy bees. Oh, it's a little. Why did my chat like, decide to go away? My chat just decided to die in my OBS again. So give me a second, guys. I need to pull it up. Shit. 
computer, like I said, just decided to like, no, I'm gonna freak out and like destroy everything you love right now. I'm like, why? Still don't have my chat, which is weird. Chat. Of course I shouldn't have updated uh, OBS today. I really shouldn't have. Like, pop my chat out. Back to my page where I was. Thank you. There. We will do it this way. I literally have my chat overlaid on top of my screen. Ah, oh, okay. I have to have a degree to become a teacher. Yeah, exactly, right? Uh, do you see the benefit in detail work? Yeah. So. I do interviews. I'm not high in my career that I do interviews. I almost hired a YouTuber because they had made stuff professionally without a degree. They still needed to have a degree, like, because my company requires you have the stupid piece of paper. It didn't, like, science. It didn't matter what kind of science, as long as the experience was unrelevant. But it was like, this is dumb. Like, if you can literally show me that you have done the work for, like, the past 10 years, college don't teach you as much as on-the-work experience actually does, in my full opinion. Yes, it can teach you a whole bunch of things going in, like, the basics and those kind of things, but otherwise it's, in my opinion, not nearly as good as hands-on in the field learning. So that's my opinion. And of course, before you can get in on the field learning, you have to do all the practice in the labs, else you could, you know, kill someone if you're, say, a doctor or, um, you know, in my line of work, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars because you screw up some kind of, uh, like, um, recipe ingredient or something weird with manufacturing. So there's a, a lot that you can do wrong once you're in the field. So it's one of those, like, I personally think college shouldn't be as gatekeeped as it is with money, because, you know, education should be free. That, that's my opinion. Because everyone is, you know, supposed to better themselves. But yay, we live in a capitalistic, capitalistic society, and that's my little rant on that. And I say that super bitterly as I was a Pell Grant student. I was so poor growing up that I got the entire Pell Grant the entire way through college. So. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been educated myself. I'll come back to you because I just want to see if there's anything over here and there was a little thing in the ground. Let's battle you. How about it? I have a science degree and might want a new job, but I agree. Only learn the material I teach in college. How to be a teacher. Exactly. It's like one of those, like, you can't trade off in the field experience for a paper. But you need the paper for the baseline sometimes. Granted, sometimes you can learn the exact same materials from other sources, not just behind the classroom college like YouTube is great with this right now. So, like, uh, my spouse, uh, Mark, he went to school for video game production, and you know what? All the stuff he uses now does not even qualify for what he got taught back then because it was a fast media degree and all this other shit. Anyone remember Flash? I had a college course on how to use Flash, for God's sake. <laughs> how about a nice Pokemon battle? I've got some spare time and I'd like to do some fun. So, there's there's too much, like, bullshit with it. You don't remember Flash. You poor sweet child. Why would you say that info went out 
with the flash. Yeah, gotta have the pun. Gotta have the pun there. So you totally are used to them. I totally get that. One of my roommates is nothing but a pun fur, basically. Okay, I beat you. Some moves look really cool, some moves hit hard. My favorite one is just playing fun. Okay. Okay. I need to keep doing zigzags this way. Punishment. Yup. that said portraits and terrible puns. Oh, that's great. It's a silly cobra. Okay. There's a Santa Conda. That's what I was looking for. We both taught a few years ago. Students would come to me. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I love it. It's great. Okay, cool. He's not gonna kill Stores the HP Pokemon on the ground, a little return of powers of grasses. I am good, thank you. I got the Sandaconda. Yeah, pretty much. I was in college for seven years. So it's uh, the school I went to uh, was the second largest in the nation. Didn't really have too much of a pixie choosy because of, you know, like I said, was a grant student. So that meant I had to keep uh, B's or higher because otherwise they would take my money away. Kobe, welcome to the chat, my dude. I heard a coin. Actually, wasn't a part of any of the anime clubs or any social clubs for that matter because I had no time. I was taking like six courses half the time while working two jobs on top of getting grant money because I was that poor. <laughs> Here are my chicken pots. Right, I'm looking for the stupid coin. But everyone's talking in chat. 
Hey Kobe, welcome to the chat, my dude. Too much chicken puns. I don't want to sound too cocky. They might crack you up. I think they're excellent. Oh, I gotta tell Sam these. That's great. I'm doing all right, Kobe. It's kind of being a chill night. We're just like talking. Um. Okay, you must have blended in really badly there. We're just like talking as I play Pokemon and we're exploring the desert right now. Oh, the soundtrack's out? Sweet. I need to go look at that. Okay. I have the time to be. Listen, it was either six classes a semester or I took another year. So I did that. On top of summer classes. So wasn't really, uh, much of a choice. Where are you going on your trip, my dude? I hated summer classes, mostly just because they only offered, like, the most obscure ones in uh, the summer. And they only offered just those then. So it was like, really? Can't knock these out any other time? Oh, nice. Well, you have fun in Vegas. It's ready to go. Twenty-one hours once. Oh my god, yeah, no, I stopped at 18 credit hours. I think I might have had a little more if it had like a lab or something. But jeez, though. Okay, what are you? Oh, you're a sandy guys. Got it. Okay, this was my final senior year in college. This is what I was doing. Keep in mind, I was commuting an hour and a half, by the way, because I was too cheap to pay for an apartment on campus. So I was driving an hour and a half one way. Um, and that, so I drove an hour and a half one way. I have my classes starting at like eight in the morning all the way till eight o'clock at night. Had an internship that I would do for like four hours in the middle of that. So I would be leaving on campus, going and working for like two hours, going to class, coming back in between my breaks, going back to class. And then my, my dumb ass basically was getting dinner at the end of those eight hours at eight o'clock and then driving back home, being home by midnight. So I basically got like four hours sleep that whole last semester of my senior year. That was how I existed. So also I had that internship that was my one job in between all my classes. And then I worked on the weekends with my retail job. Tell me I have an overproductive coping mechanism, you know? <laughs> hey, no worries, no worries. I mean, that's just my existence at this point. Like, people wonder how I have a full-time job that I work 60 hours a week, and then I stream, and then I do cosplay, and all this other stuff, and I do fitness. I just don't know how to not be busy is my life. <laughs> Sorry for breaking up drama. <laughs> no, you're fine. I talk about it because it was hard, but I did it. So it felt very accomplishing that I did it. And the fact that I was able to do that, would I choose to do it again willfully? No. God, no. Am I glad that I could do it? Yes. I go see a movie while you're over there. Huh? Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's even anything really coming out. If you're going this weekend, there's nothing really much coming out. Like that new movie, like Elemental or whatever by Pixar is out, but that's about it. Let me get the 
coin that's up here. Well, I heard Transformers was pretty good, actually. There you go, Kobe. You should go see Transformers. Let us know how it is. So it was a good movie. Like, did it completely skip the box office? Because I only watched it on Disney+. Plus. I wish I could say I'm doing fantastic. I'll accept that I'm doing okay right now. It's definitely been a, a very stressful week. So, um, there is that. But I am managing and I am trying and I am here. And I am very thankful you guys are here with me, so... Direct to Disney, yeah, that makes sense. It was a good movie, I liked it. Is there anything over on this side? There's a person, let's go beat the person. About to say, Mark will constantly get on me for being like, Oh, you said you're good today. That's that's rare. And I'm like, well, I don't like lying if I'm, you know, not if I'm just okay. I'm gonna say I'm just okay. But if I say I'm good, that's because I actually feel good. He makes a big deal out of it. It's like, I appreciate you hyping up that I feel good today, kind of thing. So I do have that kind of support at least. But I will take that. Okay, is just okay. That's perfectly fine. There's it, that. Baseline, it's like we are okay. <laughs> Might see Spider Verse. You haven't seen Spider Verse yet? Okay, Kobe, no, that's your homework. You gotta go see Spider Verse. Point blank. Point blank. Thanks, Soul and Monsters University. I never saw, Mo let's see, I saw Monsters Inc. like back in a long time ago, but I never saw Monsters University. I'm thankful. Aw, thank you, Gunblader. You're very sweet, thank you. Yeah, there was a lot of flashing, because normally, like, um, like, for example, Incredibles uh, 2, there was that entire scene with, like, the white and black spiral, like, stuff. I had to, like, look down at the floor, because I can be susceptible to that kind of stuff, so. Thankfully, Spider-Verse didn't trigger me, but if you're definitely very sensitive for flashes, that's definitely something to look out for. Good point. Not enjoyed. I'm yeah, he's, he's kind of a dick. But from what I hear, that's his character. So I don't know. I don't know the comics. I don't know 2099 very well, so. If sand stays inside my shoes for too long, I'll start the broken pit. Come back, a married couple, the wife was a streamer and the husband supported her. Oh, that's really cute. I just wonder why do you think people eat. Do you think people would eat a Gyarados? Well, I mean, they eat Magikarp, so why not Gyarados? Granted, we already eat Slowpoke. We already eat... We already drink Milk Tank Milk. So it's like... Pokemon at this game are being eaten. We're just not being told. I'm gonna share something for ancient history here. Monsters Inc. was my very first date. That's how old I am. <laughs> oh, good God, 2001. Fuck me. So I get animation studios mixed up all the time. I honestly can't remember which ones are Pixar versus which ones are like Imagination. Um, I would need a list, honestly, because there's a lot of movies that I just do very much enjoy. It's not that are like super, super like amazing. Okay. What 
your guilty pleasure movie. So, I don't really like the term guilty pleasure because I will watch stuff just because I enjoy it, but that doesn't mean, like, it's necessarily bad. Um, like, I will admit, I rewatched what I would always call my favorite movie, which is Fifty First Dates, for, like, the first time in probably 15 years. Oh my god, it aged so poorly. I was just like, why was I saying this is my favorite movie? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, 2000s humor, man, does not age well at all. So you gonna put your kid in a onesie and it looks like boop. I don't have a child, thank you very much, unless you're talking about my cat. Which I probably should, because that would be really cute. Incredibles, Big Hero 6, I love to be Big Hero 6. Toy Story, Monster Inc., Turning Red, Finding Nemo, Cars. Big Hero 6 I like, but like, all of those are good, but I just never, um, nah, no. I'm not into dogs, I'm not a dog person. I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not very much a dog person because I feel that dogs get very dirty really quickly. So that's why I don't have a dog. Also, I have trauma still from my dog dying that I can't get over easily. So I had an Australian Shepherd back in the day. So I haven't been able to have a dog since him. Very, very sad. Also, I don't have enough time to properly give a dog, which is why I don't have a dog. I feel bad enough that we joke that the cat is a plant. Like, did you feed and water the plant, the cat today? It's like, oh, yeah, we did. Okay, he's fine. I never saw the Angry Birds movie, but it sounds like it would be funny, at least. See, I don't blame you on that. My mom, she was attacked by a German Shepherd, so we couldn't have, like, any of those kind of dogs because of that same type of trauma. So I totally get that. change the soil. <laughs> yes, else the plant pees on the rug, so I have to. <laughs> I haven't watched any of, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, like, ever, really, since, like... I loved, like, the ones in, like, the 80s, 90s ones that came out, but I haven't watched any of the new ones. And by new, I mean any since, like, Michael Bay's live-action ones. Like, Idiocracy is one of my other favorite movies. I, I don't think I have, man. I suck at movies. Okay? I suck at movies. But the classic TV show ones, those were good. Your girlfriend has six? Oh my god. That is a lot. That is a lot of cats. My mom has like eight cats, so I'll, I can definitely attest to that. I grew up with five cats, so I definitely can attest that's a lot of cats. Right? I, I love that. Oh, it's funny. Uh, I know I keep bringing up the, the pause menu just so I can talk at this point. Um, so we met Terry Crews at Comic Palooza last year, right? And I brought my Idiocracy DVD for him to sign because I fucking love him as President Camacho, okay? Like Mountain Dew Camacho, come on. Um, when he signed it for me, he put his hands on the table and went, you know what's so great about this movie? It turned into a documentary. And I was just like, it really has. I love that so much. And he was so wholesome, like, Terry Crews, like, oh my god, one of my best celebrity meetings, like, ever. Love that man. So much. I 
help that these little specks keep really blending into the ground, so I can't tell if they are things for me to go after or if they are just glitches. I don't think Tom Holland has ever done any comic con, quite frankly. That's where I meet all these people as comic con. Yeah, obscure comic book artists are great. I don't follow any, so I just don't have any great stories about them. I know my one friend, um, he went to Anime Expo when the author uh, for Monster um, Shimi, I think? One of the Monster Girl anime mangas was at Anime Expo. And he was able to get stuff signed by that author. And I was like, yes, that's amazing. I love that you were able to do that. Oh, I know, because Starbucks is like their, um, their, uh, prostitution thing. Oh, that's funny. Look forward to the day where I meet Ryan. Invincible. Oh, that would be great, especially after the show kicked off. I know I've seen him at um, Comic Palooza a couple of years ago. I didn't actually meet him. I know he attended. So it's possible. Because a lot of these Comic Cons are bringing in a lot of people, so. Oh, I'm sure season two is going to get bloody. I, The train scene in season one, I, I have to pause the show, dude. It was so violent. I just was like, oh my god, I can't, I can't deal with this. This is too much. Like, don't get me wrong, it was a great show. So, I definitely enjoy it. It's just, it had a very huge shock thing with the episode. Which, is, I get the point. It was supposed to be shocking. So it did its job. Lil, you're so sweet. Just come to Austin for any of the cons, man. I'll be at one of them at least. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna get worse, JC. I'm sure. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I thought it was a fish and then it's a hippo. I don't know why, but I thought that was a fish with its nose being eyeball for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna attack it because I want to capture it. Alright, cool. We caught this thing. Yay. Hey, there's the big scary titan over there. Barb is so amazing to meet. I've met her so many times thanks to, you know, being Yang for like several years at this point and also living in Austin. Uh, but she's, she's an absolute doll. Austin traffic is terrible. Like, I don't drive if I can help it. So believe me, I fully understand. I do make trips occasionally out of the town. I'm trying to stay more local because I realize I didn't have like 
um, a good local community is the best way to put it. I was because I started in Florida, of course, and then I moved to Texas, and then that was when I got kind of popular. So I then was flying all over the country for a bit, and that was very exhausting and taxing and everything on that. Not only am I well, but my, you know, mental health. So that's why we then started staying closer to um, Austin with just doing Texas cons, because there's plenty in Dallas, plenty in San Antonio, plenty in Houston, plenty in Austin. It's like, I don't need to leave the state. So I'm trying to get more local, so. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much there, Devil Justice. Oh, you got the hard barb. Oh, that's nice. Level 56. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I can actually hurt you because you're the same level. Watch the day tripper or look them up to my. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff if you want to do day tripping. As uh, so my progress, this is our first playthrough. Uh, we're currently going after our. Uh, third Titan, and we just defeated our eighth, our, our sixth gym, and we've done three star bases, so we're about two thirds of the way through the, the game. Saying goodnight to someone else. <laughs> That's superpower. Fighting? Azumarill? User attacks the target with command just also lowers the user's defense and attack. Uh, no. We'll keep Azumarill stuff the same. Maybe I'm getting the voice actors messed up. Isn't Dante Bosco also Bash the Stampede? Right? Because he's Zuko, right? Or am I getting him completely mixed up with somebody else? I could be completely. No, it's Johnny Young Bosch. There I I stopped myself. Don't don't correct me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am shit with names. Completely honestly, shit with names. So I was like, wait, wait, fucked up, I thought I fucked up. So we made it here. Well, this did this zigzag, we just did this zigzag. Okay, I'm on this side. I need to go straight through here and then go down. too far over here. Maybe on the other side of this rock. Whoops. Here's the question. If it had huge power. Yeah, that's fair. Just keep more typing. No, don't give me that Discord anxiety. <laughs> Like I said, I realized I fucked up the moment I said that. I'm like, wait, no, that's wrong. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Just need to go. Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, there's a person. The bully to person. It's bully to person. That was a weird Pokemon. That was a weird Pokemon. Why did you repeat yourself? Game 
inspire my powers and become a tamer of dragons. I would much rather become a tamer of dragons. However, does that mean that dragons don't exist in our real world? Or do I just get to control bearded lizards or something like that? Which, that would be fucking cool, honestly. I don't really want to shoot web things and be sticky, honestly. So that's just me. Okay, that's what I thought, and their voices are a little similar, so I'm like, wait, they were the same- no, no, they're not, they're not, never mind, two different people, nope. I will allow the bearded dragon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cruising in the sand? Yes, it is. Mm. Weird Pokemon. You said that three times. I ran into weird Pokemon in the desert. It looked like a Dawn fan, but it's actually a different Pokemon. Yeah, you probably saw the Titan, which is fine. Yep, there's the Mama. Come here. <laughs> I mean, I'm already in a giant multiverse event, it's called Cosplaying Saber, and I keep being called Alice. Not Violet Evergarden, Alice, I'm sort of online. I'm like, how? How? The daddy? Oh, yep, it's a dad. Sorry, misgendered the Pokemon. Like nothing, let's start fighting. Cool. Okay, I can see that because of your wig. Which is a shame because Bakugo is not as much of a hoe as Sun is. I say that with love because he wears a shirt. <laughs> Puns again. Seriously, it's two Ultra Balls. I'm trying to think if there's spiky haired blonde that, uh, you know, in fate, but I can't think of any because the only blonde I can think of is Gilgamesh, and he has that straight hair, so. Nerdy, people will call the weirdest things similar. I had one person, I went on a rant about this in my Discord at one point. I had one person call my Claire from Jurassic World or Nahime from Bleach. Okay? I've had Saber be called Alice from Sorta Online, which looks nothing like that. I'm trying to think of some other ones. There have just been some crazy ones. I mean, I constantly will get the Yang Leone thing, just because I'm like, they look similar, I will agree with that, but they are clearly wearing two distinct different costumes. So please read the description if I'm doing a spicy cosplay. It's only when I whip out the tail they understand. No, they're just gonna call you a furry Bakugo. I'm sorry. This is the My Hero people, alright? have been called that. See, I told you! <laughs> there is, like, with much love to the cosplay community, and if you love My Hero Academia, by all means, I've seen the first season, and the first season only, it's just not my thing, I don't do shounen, so there's a disclaimer. It's like how the Attack on Titan people took over the early, you know, 2010s, around 2013, 2014. Everyone was Attack on Titan. 
and now everyone is my hero academia basically is how i feel is what things are in terms of the cosplay community at least that's what i see which again it's a very popular shonen series so no shame if that's something you love i just think it's hilarious that it's literally like count the amount of my hero people i can make a joke about genshin too quite frankly so <laughs> i can see saber alice but damn yeah so the main thing with saber and alice long blonde hair short blonde hair gold armor silver armor to me the armor coloring is enough but that's just me personally yeah genshin completely stole all the fake grand order people like we're slowly making a comeback i've noticed demon slayer's gotten very popular but i feel like my hero still kind of takes the crown in terms of people who cosplay if that makes any sense i do see a lot of demon slayer but not enough that i want to make this comparison if that makes any sense which i need to watch demon slayer it's on my list i know it's good it's also made by the Fontable, so it has ace animation it's just one of those things i haven't gotten around to What is youth, though? You, do you have an answer? It's like, I am young. Yes. Also, JC, I don't think we can really uh, throw shade at the My Hero Academia kids. We were a part of the Ruby fandom for a long time, and you know how rabid that fandom also was. <laughs> Fandoms are gonna fandom, man. <laughs> That's why I say all of this with much love, no shame, no hate. <laughs> Please don't come at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not big into shonens. Like, the only shonens I really liked were ones that are satires, like One Punch Man. It was a satire in its own of shonens. So. Yeah, no shade. Like, I get that people just have different genres. Like, I tried watching Bleach. I couldn't get into Bleach. I tried watching Naruto. I couldn't get into Naruto. I gave My Hero Academia a full one season try. Like, I watched the sub. Just ain't my thing, which is no shame. Give me my dress up, darling. Give me Tomo Chan as a girl. Give me Love and Yamada 99. Uh, give me, uh, right now, My Home Hero. Give me Death Note. Um,. So, like, those are, like, more my sticks. I like my love story with girls that are fucking relatable. Yeah, Yamada is so good! Um, or I love, like, you know, the ones that are satires. Oh, The Devil is a Part-Timer was also a really good one. Uh, another one of my niche favorites is Nisa Koi, which is a harem because I'm a... I have to love my harems, which make fucking sense now with all my poly shit, so hey! So... Ruby fandom, the ones on the hardcore side of... Yeah, they, they... So... I'm from back when shipping was a major thing where it didn't matter if characters even fucking knew each other, they would ship them. I don't promote the, you know, incestual ships at all. But people do that shit. Yes, need to go on! Yes! Like, I want to cosplay Chikoge still so bad! She's on my list! Yes! Gorilla Girl! <laughs> they don't watch the anime and say they want the sh- Yeah. I'm not a Sundare, but I love the Sundare types, okay? I know! Onedora is so, like, she's so meek and it's, like, so sad. And then let's not even throw in the childhood best friend who moves in and's like, oh, you're my fiance. I'm like, what? You promised to marry- what? Who are you? Uh, I need to rewatch that. I was forcing a friend of mine to watch it, and we stopped, like, on season- I think we stopped at the- almost at the end of season one, because he was like, I can't take any more of this, like, mind-melting shit. And I'm like, but it's so good. He goes, I can't take any more. And I'm like, okay. Maybe you only really understand your youth when you look back at it as an adult. Yeah. Yeah, that, that hits a little too hard. 
I love how they're just like swimming in the sand. Watching reading is to bright Love Hina vibes. I did try to watch Love Hina. I don't think I like the characters, is why it never stuck with me. But I did try watching that back in the day. Because it was right up my alley. You know, I like Tenchi Muyo for its uh, harem stuff, so. Ah, okay. See, I'm not a huge manga person. But I know there's some exceptions to that rule, honestly. Sorry, Vampire. That's another one I never got to really read. Okay. Ghost types, we're gonna change this to one of my dark types. Let's go Lux. Can you I use you? Yeah, okay, you're not dead. Yes, Tenchi. You can tell I'm a tsunami kid, okay? Please read you can JC, you know that'll never happen, right? I'm too busy. But thank you for trying to give me something to go for with like reading. so sad. That's why I call it niche. Because I feel like no one's ever heard of it. And I'm gonna be so mad if we don't get a dress up darling season two because that was only supposed to be a one season to promote the the manga. So it's like give me more of my shit. The manga is still coming out. Granted we finally got Devil of the Part Timer season two after ten fucking years and Season 2 panty and stocking after 10 fucking years, so I'll, I'll take it right now. I'm, I'll take it. Match this bastard. That was actually a really easy 3 star. series I love. I made it into the whole story in America. Never got the manga. We did the one season of light novel and never more. I know! It's just like, really? You're only gonna give us the first season of a light novel and then you're gonna continue the rest? It's like, no. Like, there was one show I really liked. I can't remember which one it was. And it was like, oh, there's not going to be any more anime to this because it's advertising for the light novel. My brain wants me to say Konosuba, but I don't think that's correct. So if anyone knows which one I'm talking about, it's like within the last like five years. Hey Zuku, you are late to the party, but you are definitely welcome. How are you doing tonight? you showing up still. I feel that on the tiredness. I have been... I basically was taking a nap before I got on stream, quite frankly, with you, because I've just been so tired all day. So, you can just get overtired even sleeping. It's kind of funny. Like, you can sleep into exhaustion. I've done that. It's where I'll sleep, like, 14 hours, and it's like, why am I still tired? I'm just not getting good sleep. It's like, really? So we just did all of this part, so we're gonna come back up here. We did this. We're gonna do 
do this a little bit, and then we can come over here. Come back down, do this a little bit, and then we'll be in Titan land. Too hot. Yes, I am definitely a cat in that regard. Like, let me sunbathe and I will go to sleep. your stream you were uh, streaming um the infection mode that just came out right how was that for everyone who does not know ace is a pretty good friend of mine awesome animator go follow him for his animation and stuff he's worked on triple a project stuff so guys got skills go give him some love but yeah no how was how was the game Hey, welcome! Welcome there, uh, Trigger. I've been doing good. I'm doing good. It's been definitely a week, but managing, so it's the main thing. Here, here. I'm gonna pop back over here, do this part. Other we're gonna do this part, then pop over. He didn't carry. Ah. Uh, Etchy fan service heavy series. Okay, so there's several ways we can take this trope, right? So my dress up darling is considered etchy technically because it was fan service. Then there's animes like High School DXD that are just nothing but fan service and softcore porn because there's literally titties in there, which are also ah, Seth's kisses because we do not sex shame in this household. We are all positivity. And as long as, you know, the viewers are 18 plus, who kind of cares at this point? Because everyone's consensual at that point. So I absolutely love those kind of things. Because also, Fate Stay Night started it as a fucking hentai novel. So hey, <laughs> I am totally okay with etchy and fan service. Also, do you know me? Come on. <laughs> we all love titties. Flying for work on my end, got my nose to grind so No, I fully understand that. Don't look at me. <laughs> Oh, fun. Yeah, good luck on that one. Definitely good luck on work. Because hunting for work sucks. I understand that so much. Oh, there's a, a way up. I don't want to... Oh, this is to the... I've been there. I've been that way. Okay, I don't need to go that way. So I remember now we went that way before. Close to finishing the album floor. Nice. Right? Exactly! That was like where I first met you, uh, Fairy Bell, on that one. Which is great. Your Lady Loki was so fabulous, by the way. I gotta say, God. So, a little bit funny. My wedding planner, I gave her, like, my Instagram and stuff because, you know, share what you like so that we can help you kind of thing. And she was just like, you go to these events just, like, wearing lingerie? Girl, I wish I had that kind of body confidence, and I'm like, it is what it is. It was all consensual 18 plus thing. I'm riding around in basically a bikini, but yeah. <laughs> so I totally get that. <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm gonna be honest there, Trigger. I feel better in my 30s than I ever did in my 20s because I'm actually taking care of myself. And that's the whole thing, is you just need to take care of yourself. As much as that sounds like a really lame-ass thing, but if you take care of yourself, like drinking water, sleeping, working out, and eating healthishly. I'm not gonna say healthy, because we all wanna eat bad food, but you gotta eat healthishly. Um, that it's like, just, I, I feel so much better because now I can actually run a fucking 5K. 
I couldn't run but two minutes, like, in my 20s. It's like... So I sway my Twitter. <laughs> I do what you mean. Yeah. Watch the series called Kai. Oh, for Kai Joe, that's where they fight with the butts. Yeah. That was actually pretty funny. They might cut so much out. Of course it did. They always cut that shit out when they make those kind of things. So the best thing would always just be to start. Um, it's no time like the present to start. Because as long as, you know, I'm telling myself this because I was really good last year. Like, I dropped 15 pounds for myself, which is something I've struggled with a lot to always do. Because it's very difficult when I'm so tiny, because a single meal from McDonald's is my entire needed amount to eat, right? For the day. Else I'll gain weight. So it's very difficult to do that and maintain and be tiny this weight. Uh, so I struggle bus last year getting it down, right? And then I gained it all back already. Which is kind of why I've shied away from anything new on stuff lately because I'm like, oh, all my efforts are gone. Um, so I'm trying to get back down to that. Oh, I missed my turn. I need to be over here. Uh, but, no, you just gotta start. Like, don't dread where you've been. Just do the next day better. That's all you can really do. And then the next day, and then the next day. Make it a habit. Make wise choices. We're gonna have fuck-up days. We're always gonna have fuck-up days. Like, oh, I had a bad day, I'm gonna get McDonald's. Or, I really want that chicken. Like, we're gonna have those days. And that's okay just gotta be aware that that's not an everyday kind of thing. And that's kind of how I try to live my life right now. It's the best advice I can give for trying to help by yourself, basically. So, I say that as I literally had a sandwich tonight for dinner with chicken nuggets and bacon and a ranch. So, you can eat processed unhealthy things. You don't have to just have chicken breasts and a salad and hate yourself. <laughs> I did that for nine months. I'm not doing that again for a long time. So, 75 since December? That's amazing! Off-brand, like, no, you get some hype for that, dude. Like, holy shit, you get some hype for that. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back down. Also hides my stash. You can do it in one afternoon. It's only 12 episodes. Should start working out when my last contract ended because I had time and everything. Yeah, motivation also sucks. So for me, I found my sweet spot. If I work out for anything more than an hour, I get bored. Or rather, I don't want to do it. So I found a workout routine that's an hour long, and that's it. And that's what I've stuck to. And that's what has helped me. And that's where I'm at. And then I started adding in running, because I like running. And I also signed myself up for 5Ks, so... Um, just adding in a goal kind of helps with that, is where that motivation came in. Listen, Mel, my Twitter is full of culture. Listen, everybody's Twitter is full of culture. And if it's not, then you have a side account that's just dedicated for culture. I know, because I have that. <laughs> You're going to go back to the gym? Yay! Good job, JC. Good job, man. You need to send me workout stuff or post it in the Discord, which for all of you who want to be motivated with health and stuff, we do have a fitness and a noms chat in the Discord where we share, you know, our progress for our fitness and our recipes. So we are totally trying to be an inclusive community with that kind of stuff. So if that's your thing, chime in there. Like I throw my workouts in there pretty much every day. Like, oh my God, I fucking did this. I'm at least doing it. It's accountability. And we'll hype you up. Like there's um one guy in my discord who is hitting his deadlift PRs. And it's like, holy shit, dude, you're hitting like 360 pounds. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Um, I suck at usernames, else I would actually say your username. But, I'm thinking of you right now, dude, for those achievements, so hey. Unless I worked out years ago was half an hour at most. Yeah, I get that. I get that. That's why it's like, you gotta find that sweet spot of what works best for you. Some people, it's waking up at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning and going to the gym. I can't do that. So what do I do? I use my lunch break, or I go after work. That's just what it is for me, because I use it as a de-stressor, so, yeah. 
I get so bored working out. Yeah, no, I understand that. That's why you gotta find the things you like. Uh, because some people hate cardio. So what do I recommend? Lifting weights. Some people hate lifting weights for certain things. Like, I fucking hate lunges. I will refuse to do lunges. Therefore, I do squats and deadlifts instead. I don't do lunges. I just avoid them like the plague. So you find the things that you like as you just experiment and do those kind of things. I think my thing with, um, oh, I remember what it was. I got back into working out really, really good because I thought I could do a pull-up, right? And then someone commented on my video and they're like, you're not doing a full range of motion because I was only doing the here. So I was like doing just this. I couldn't ever actually do the full extend. So I started working to do full extension range of motion pull-ups. Guess what? Now I can do like eight at a party while well, drunk, which is amazing. I still can't believe I did that. There's a video on my Instagram and, put, and TikTok for that. So I'm going to scroll back up now. I have no side to cut my mane. <laughs> yeah, mane's all titty. Yeah, I totally get that, man. My trick is when I go to Planet Fitness near me, my way back, brought my tablet there, laid it on treadmill. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Um, when I was, me and my sister had the same job for a little bit, so I had to wait for her shift to get off work, basically, because we carpooled there. Um, I went to the gym for two hours, and I just waited for her to get off work, and I just, you know, put my phone down, and I was watching Netflix. Two hours of me just walking on a treadmill, but hey, it's something. As long as you're doing something, it's good, so five minutes <laughs> two and a half hours you mean oh yeah no see that's too much for me need to get my pull-up bar out of my room yes pull-ups are great they're very difficult to do so when you can actually do a full range of motion one it is amazing and i say that with such pride because i can now do them after thinking i could do a pull-up when all i could do is a half z one this whole time Yes, that, that video was great. I still can't believe someone recorded that of me, so. If I start working out regularly, I'd buy some of that anime gear. Yes, the Just Saying gear is great. It is absolutely great. I need to get some of my own, but a friend of mine has the Vegeta stuff. So, he loves it. It took a little bit to get in because it's all custom made, which I like personally, so. Summer Pokemon cosplay from years ago. Oh my god, yeah. That had to be either like 2018 or something like that, which I can't believe that's been like five years now. That's absolutely insane to me. So now I can come up here to this rock. And now I'm gonna do zigzags here. I mean, the So I split mine because. Since I was getting kind of popular, I felt bad that a lot of the cosplayers who didn't want to interact with the lewd cosplayers were kind of I felt like not really avoiding me but they would purposely not follow the account because it was so lewd so I personally support all kinds of cosplayers lewd not lewd crafter non crafter you know what I mean but I know some people are uncomfortable with all the titty which perfectly fine you're allowed to have your choices we're sex positive in this household so we love all the titty um, but I totally understand if that makes you uncomfortable. So I like giving people choices. Uh, so that's why I have my Not Safe for Work account. And then I have my regular account where I will post a little bit here and there. But it's not like full booba in your face all the time. So thank you. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> right, have I picked on this person? I think I have. Yes, I picked on that person. Okay, cool. We stand the booba. Yes, exactly. We all love the titty. That's why I go, no shame. We support body positivity in this household. All right, Kobe, you have a good night. We're gonna try and at least finish this area since we're almost done. Cause we did over here and now we're doing it over here and now we're about to do this and then there's the Titan. And now I just wanna wrap this up. Yes, I did watch Konosuba. Darkness is on my cosplay list that has been for like a couple years now. I just haven't cosplayed her. So, yes, police girl. And my Trish. Oh, my Trish. I need to. I'm so mad that I never got her DLC outfit done because I worked on that so hard already several times. 
but it is what it is, honestly, so. So, I have a funny thing I have planned for whenever I do do darkness. A friend of mine is gonna do the cabbage vendor from Avatar, and I told him, listen, if I do darkness and you do that, you are more than welcome to record a video pelting cabbages at me, all right? Ah, oh, Helsing Bridge is so amazing. And the ultimate is good too, quite frankly, because like, both are amazing in their own. Um, but I fucking love the abridged, the 18 four star. Um, like, it, it's so good. It's just so good. Slow-mo cam for cabbage. I'll have someone record it on their iPhone with the slow-mo. That sounds great. This is, did I get this guy? I guess I did. I already talked to him. Thought I saw a shiny thing. Nope, it's just Pokemon. Okay. Okay, so we just kind of did like all this here. So now we need to go back over. This is just so much running around this desert, I know, guys. Yes, those were so good. Uh, those were my friends. Uh, so the Alucard cosplayer um, was a friend of mine named Christian. I actually made his trench coat for him. So that was fantastic with that. This is round? I think that's round. And then my friend, uh, Trevor, he did the Walter cosplay. We just threw that together for Megacon because I was like, I'm bringing Therese back to Megacon, so let's go. Yes, really funny memes for sure. Like, I want to throw Callie in an aqua, okay? And, like, every time Casey's down here for uh, RTX, I'm constantly like, Casey, bring Mega Meme, and I'll get darkness going. Two years now, we've been trying to do this, and my ass hasn't made darkness, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. Fucked up. All right, that that's grass. It's fine. It was a one star. He's dead. never cosplayed and done a photo shoot with Casey, other than our Ruby 3.0 thing that we did as a surprise thing at RTX. Because yeah, me and her need to do Ruby and Yang for sure. We need to do Panty and Thucking for sure, and then whenever I get fucking darkness done. Yeah, Yatsu Hashi, yeah. Not a lot of people cosplay him, so that's definitely good to do. Yes, I did the Ruby 3.0 from Dishwasher in 2018 RTX. We did that with uh, Casey, so. Oh, Hell the Boss is great. I love that show right now. Yes, I love the darkness with it. I really did. Like, it was so good. So, because, like, we decided to put together that group, and we did it as a complete surprise for RTX that year. So it was so fun. 
kind of, I probably need to get rid of that cosplay at this point, because that jacket could not hold up well. You should, but we'll see how it goes, because last year was kind of meh. It sounds like I'll be going this year, mostly because, like I said, other people are getting me a badge. Because I was trying to avoid giving Rooster Teeth money because I still don't agree with the things that they did uh, for their staff. So I'm trying not to support them monetarily wise. But there's a lot of people in the community for Ruby that I still care about and it's basically friend con. So it's like, okay, I guess I'll go. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see how it is this year with everything. Last year it was completely crazy. Not like crazy, but like it was very dead compared to what it usually is. Cause I think there was only like 10,000 people. So you could like walk around and everything was pretty, pretty laxed. Come on, I just saw a shiny thing. Did it like disappear on me? Rude. Bringing back Velvet this year. Yes, I gotta look for, look for you then. It was very quiet. I definitely agree with that. Now, I don't know if that's because COVID or if it was because, you know, the rooster teeth bullshit, column A, column B, I don't know. So we'll see. It's a support to the PMA, not really company. Totally get that, my man. Totally get that. And the Guardians, fabulous. Always love you guys. I have not had any better staffers at convention than the Guardians. Prom for a new Neptune design? No, I totally get that. You really need one. <laughs> yes, do let me know and send pictures at the very least. Yes, late Pokemon. We're wrapping up though. I want to at least get this area done. So we got a little bit still. We must have been talking tonight, which is great. I love talking conversation streams. I really do. I totally feel that. Props are not cheap to make or easy to learn either. There's a lot of tutorials if you want to try making your own, but commissioning that kind of stuff is always fun. Yes, I wish I learned that advice sooner. I say that as the Harkonnen and I have for Cerez, we literally sawed in the several pieces so that it could fit into my suitcase. So, yeah. Rest in peace, my original Harkonnen. No proper way to make a prop. Ah, that, that, that was terrible. I love it. Battle this kid. I've seen a lot of gender bent yanks, they're pretty good. You haven't finished 
Proto Saber Sword. Aw, oh, ace. Shame on you. Yeah, I'm the Yang with the bike at this point, even though there is two other Bumblebee bikes out there. I don't think any of them have ever been to RTX. So I at least have that going for me. So we will see. I really wanted them to give Yang a new bike in the last season, but since we are in the Fairyland, it makes sense. Izuku, what are you talking about? I have a Bumblebee bike. We've made two, actually. Yes, I definitely will lift people up. Granted, my strength is kind of like um, diminished because of my whole like not working out for like six months thing. Um, but we will see where I am with that. Here now, so I'm now getting. Oh, there he is. He's over there. All right, we've kind of like covered this area now. It's where I'm like. Yes, I did. We won the best prop award for that for the RTX at home. Which I was honestly surprised that we did. But hey. Yeah, I'm not. My current lift limit was 160. I. Because that's it's a front squat and I do a princess carry, right? It's completely different than a back squat. My back squat is 240. How did you not know I made the bumblebee bike? Like, holy crap. Okay. So I haven't tried that, and it's mostly because I want to, um, I want to be safe because people, like, oh my god. So at IkiCon, I tried lifting another cosplayer when I was wearing high heels. And I ate shit and dropped her, and I felt so terrible. Um, and that's exactly why I have a weight limit, and I try to do it as carefully as possible. Fireman carries, for me, since I'm so tiny, are a little bit more dangerous, quite frankly. Because at least with a princess carry, your arm is on me, you're centered still, I can kind of stabilize you. So... Alright. Hello, Mel, this is Professor Sada. Great tusk of the Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Waterfall! That's it, we are okay. Look at that. It just basically killed it in one shot. Cosplays can be fun. Do I have to go find the stuff right now? Find the Titan. It's over there! Um, you can put it in doodles if you want to share fan art in the Discord. He's going into a cave! Oh, he's eating the Herba Mystica, or HM as I noticed it was called. Arvin! I haven't seen you in a fucking long time. Mel, no, looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? I must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing that what you and me can do. You just gonna come steal like all my glory, dude? <laughs> gonna use the stove villain I caught nearby to be the real spicy victory. He's got that chili pepper on. Yeah! 
up to the point it went up to me and I was just like, how did I fucking not notice that? <laughs> it is a, the original HM, basically. much ash weighs but i don't want to be rude but good job on that that considering no offense again jc but you are a very skinny boy so the fact that you can do that is amazing so good job man <laughs> i went with the naming convention trope <laughs> what even was that thing though i kind of feel like maybe i've seen it before somewhere I mean, I, we saw it in drawings. Do you forget the library, my dude? Anyways, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of the Herba Mystica it was eating. Let's give the place a once over before that thing decides to come back. There's a funny picture of me being squished into a, fuck, what's it called? It's a military rump sack. That's what it's called. I literally could, like, squish that and sit inside it. There's a great picture of that somewhere. I can't remember where. I, it's probably in the Discord. But I got, was able to fit inside of a rump sack, basically. Come out, come out wherever you are. Good luck getting that Sephiroth body, man. I say that just because body changing is very difficult, so I wish you all the best of luck. I really do. It's a little herb. You and Arvin found the sour herb in this account. Uh, so we're gonna be here for a little bit longer. I want to finish this area, but we're almost done. So maybe another 15 minutes. This shape, this sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's good for you. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Miska is chock full of nutrition and great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonderful when you're tired, physically or mentally perks you up. Yeah, I was able to swim already in the game. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Yeah, I feel that with needing the confidence to cosplay things, like, that was why I waited so long to cosplay Lancer Toria Racer at Echi Expo this past year. Cause there's no way I could have fit in that before I dropped those 15 pounds. Which is a sh shame, quite frankly. Um, so. I can't wait to get back to that level and be more comfortable and cosplay again, so. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you up right when you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon in awe as you eat. Join us in the fitness channels, bro. Like, we, we do accountability. Gotta start watching what you eat, you know? It, it's a journey. What was the one saber called? Musashi? That one? Do you want to give your sandwich to Koridon? I will share. Well, it's sour, so who knows? Come on out, must of us. Food's up. Okay, you're gonna heal your pupper again. See, this is item 13 of 18, so we're two-thirds of the way through. 
It's like someone's got a proper appetite now. Nice. Hungry Pokemon. Alright, what ability do we unlock? Oh, Akita! Yeah, that'll do it. Horidon will now be able to glide. Oh, cool! Slowly regaining its original strength. Still, doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Aww. So this is kind of funny seeing this interaction after kind of watching How to Train Your Dragon earlier today. With Toothless and all that, so. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning it to its true form. A mental block? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you'd call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience of battle, so now it's scared the battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both the brute and the mess of us will make a full recovery eventually. I love How to Train Your Dragon. My sister was binge-watching all three movies, so I kind of was watching them while I worked out earlier, so... I will be heading off. All right. You have a good night, JC. We're not going to be streaming much longer, but thank you for being part of the chat for so long, my dude. And I can't wait to see you for RTX, my man. Yes, Coridon does give toothless vibes. How do you feel, Masterbus? How's that Herba Mystica working? Oh, no pressure. Not like it's fair to expect every time a Herba Mystica to have some kind of huge effect, right? You need to watch How to Train Your Dragon. It's so good. It's so good. The trilogy is so good. So there are shows that go with the uh, movies? I didn't know that there were extra things. We were having that conversation earlier, so. And it's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Okay, you guys got homework. Go watch How to Train Your Dragon. Now. <laughs> you got homework. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Mel and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We got a, one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's it's just gotta be. He don't want his puppy to die. I don't blame him. Next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last, but we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Okay, with Fate, like I said, I give you guys a cheat code. If you haven't started Fate at all, just go watch Unlimited Blade Works 2014, the two-season anime. That's If you like that, then I can give you more to go from from there. If you don't like that, just stop. But that's the introduction for anime watchers only. Do not start with Fate Zero, because that's like watching episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Star Wars before 4, 5, and 6. It fucks up the story. So that's my opinion on that. Let's not get into a fate rant tonight. <laughs> I made some episodes on Cartoon Network ages ago, but then came the Netflix. Interesting. Okay, so there are shows. Good to know. I want to watch the anime on Crunchyroll, but I don't want to watch it. Yeah, I feel that. Can you DM? So are, are you in the Discord trigger? I think I had a Reddit post for the watch order um, stickied in our fate channel. So look at the pins in the Fate channel for the Reddit post on how to watch. Hello Mel, this is Sada. I detect that Koridon has regained more of its original power. After it's jumped into the air, you should try pressing B again and it should glide now. Pressing B when you're in the air, Koridon will glide for you. If you press B once more, it will stop. Oh, I just have an umbrella now. You must continue helping Crydon recover. Yeah, so just start with a little bit of Blade Works, uh, 2014 edition, and after that you can kind of go down that list. That's just my opinion about all that. We're here. I now need to go, like, around here. That's about it. Is there anything in here? Can I go in here? No. So... I definitely understand the original anime being, like, okay. original anime, the 2006 Dean edition. I don't recommend people watching that as new fans right now because it didn't really age well. The censorship scenes that they did were weird, and the anime-only interjections they did were weird. Also, the fact that they took the three different stories 
and tried to merge them into one of the routes is why I don't recommend that. I recommend watching that one to enjoy it once you like fate. So for me, I love it because it's the closest thing we have to Saber's route. So I do love the Dean edition, especially since the music is very close to the visual novel. Same with the art style. But for new people, where they're like, where do I start? Why well, do we even care about this? Is why I recommend just watch Unlimited Blade Works. If you like that, then I have the sauce for you. So that's the only way I tell people to watch the Dean edition. And quite frankly, I have like a Reddit version edited to remove all of the additional stuff just because I didn't like the anime only and all the cross route stuff. So some of the episodes were so butchered. It was like five minutes in so on some of the things. It was terrible. Like Fate Route, I really want them to remake it so bad. Play the hell of the Fate Mobile game. Yeah, Fate Mobile games are also its own thing completely. Like they're their own universe. It's not even worth playing, in my opinion to know the original Fate story because you won't get anything of it. It's its own story. It just has the same characters. Which is nice! Because if you like white boos, then you have white boos. Yeah, they can just like throw you into its own thing, but granted the protagonist is thrown in, so that's how they do that trope. I don't care for that personally, but what have you. I'm really behind in the Fate Grand Order game myself because I haven't played it in almost three years at this point because I refused to skip story and there was a lot of story and I was playing it at work and I kind of couldn't play it at work anymore because it's just how story heavy it was. I like MASH. So, uh, I do like MASH. I almost cosplayed her at one point because I do like MASH. Today's menu is the best, but again, you can't just watch that as the fake newbie. Today, today's menu is today's menu is the palate cleanser for all of the bad that happens in Heaven's Steel. Is the best way to look at that trilogy. <laughs> Someone I know hates Gilgamesh. Depending on which version of Gilgamesh, he's a complete fucking asshole. And like, I compare Fate Route Gilgamesh to Adam from Ruby. But if you do uh, Castor Gil when he is in Babylonia, which is another fake anime, which is based off of the FGO timeline, uh, he is a lot more sensible. So I also don't like Gilgamesh for that reason, but he's a complex character depending on which iteration of fate that you are watching. And that's sadly how it is for most of the uh, shows, because the same servant won't be the same in each iteration. Which is sad, honestly, but it is what it is. Um... I mostly was saying he's like Adam Torres and that he's obsessing over a girl that wants nothing to do with him and gives major creepy boyfriend vibes. But, uh, no, he doesn't have a motorcycle hit him in the face and die. <laughs> okay. We have successfully done all of this little area. I now need to just go do this little bit over here, which I think I already did actually. No, I did that already. So we did all of the desert. Yay. All right, so where do we go next? 14. 14 is all the way down here. Yeah, Adam had a reason to be angry. He was angry at why Schnee and all that horrible fauna stuff. I get that. So, not excusing that at all. It's just had possessive traits that were really bad. Oh shit, we got another raid! Holy crap! Chibi, thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing tonight? Thank you so much for bringing your community to me! Thank you! Thank you so much! Get a dab for that! Hello! Welcome! Welcome raiders! Hi, my name is Kisses. I'm kind of a Pokemon slash variety streamer. I say variety because we're playing a couple of new chill games at the moment, but we mostly focus on Pokemon at least once a week. 
So do enjoy. I'm also a cosplayer. If that's kind of your shtick, please by all means check out my socials and my Discord for a nice chill community. But thank you for joining. Nice to meet you all. Yes. What were you playing? Thank you for the follow. What were you playing tonight? Give you a shout out here. We were also playing Pokemon. Oh, awesome. Nice. What were you doing? Because I'm still on my first playthrough and I know a lot of people. Oh, shiny hunting. That's so fun. Did you get anything? Are you after a particular one? Okay, it's through that tunnel. So that's how we get over here. And I know I did all of this area before. So we can go here. Not yet. I'm after a spirit tunnel. Oh, good luck on that. For sure. Good luck on that. Because I believe shiny hunting is still hard in this game comparatively. Like, at least to Legends. I could be completely wrong because I haven't done... A lot of shiny hunting in this game, as much as I got two natural shinies so far, so I could be completely wrong. <laughs> I just know Legends, it gave you a shiny like every two seconds, it felt like. Ah, the sandwiches! The one thing I've neglected this whole time is the food. Medusa method is still in this gym. What, what is- oh, oh, sorry, not Medusa. Matsuda. What is the Matsuda method? Like, I remember back in the day, you did the chaining. <laughs> I hear... a... Born did I? I hear a coin guy. Where's the coin? I thought I heard a coin. Yeah, old school, I know, right? I hear... I swear I hear the coin! Ah, you're over here. There you are. Hate the raid and run. No, yes! You just streamed, by all means, go take your rest. Thank you for joining and bringing your community to me. Thank you so much. Please pop back into my streams another time, and I'll definitely check out your streams. So thank you so much there, Chibi. Have a good night. Shiny Labyrinth Nessie. Awesome. Yeah, I think we're at the part where we now get to go find some of the raid ourselves, because we're going to start going towards the next gym leader. Now that I'm here, because we're going to run down this way, and I think that'll take us into here. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I need to go over here. I think that's through this mountain. I think. We will figure that out on next time, because I know I need to also do like a lot over here. So maybe I have to go this way. I'm not 100% sure. So, we will figure out if it's just going south this way, or south this way, but that's the next time thing. Later on the five, definitely we'll let you guys know. It is the caves? Okay, cool. I'm glad I was in the right direction with assuming the caves are the way. See. But, I, oh, I didn't save. Let's save, because the last time I needed to go, it was not saving again. Save. See. Okay, cool. Anyway, so thank you guys for joining tonight. We had three raids tonight. Holy crap. So thank you to Foxmas Prime, to Ace, and now Chibi Faye, uh, Faye for the raids tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Thank you for trusting your communities to me. So let's go see who we can uh, go give the love to in this time, as it is also time to go give some love to somebody on who is currently streaming. Let's see who we got. Let's see. The only people I have on are playing Overwatch or Fortnite. So, who, 
What would you guys rather go see, Fortnite or Overwatch? Because I got two VTubers that could use some love tonight in that regard. So I'll let you guys pick real quick. Yes, uh, so by the way, we'll be back on Thursday as well. Flip a coin. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday uh, with Destiny this week. That was our community voted game. So uh, if you are into playing Destiny... Rock, paper, scissors. So we'll, go, we'll go give some love to my friend Zombie. Uh, I met her recently at uh, Fan Expo Dallas this past uh, couple weekends ago. She's really sweet. Um, she's playing Fortnite right now. Let's make sure that she's there. And we will go give um, her some love. Yeah, she's there. So let's go give Zombie some love. And... But yeah, Thursday we'll be doing uh, Destiny. So if you want to see me play the Lightfall campaign some more... Uh, we'll be doing that. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got on for Thursday. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for being around. You guys have been the best tonight. I really do appreciate and love you guys. So keep an eye out for Thursday with that. Um, and then we'll be there for that. So anyways, have a good night, everybody. Cloud just save your redemption for Guy the Raid to... Uh, <laughs> for another time so <laughs> it's all right so zombie's great we'll give her some love tonight else you can introduce me to another uh, vtuber next time anyways have a good night guys mm -hmm.